Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boy Photography. This is part three, video basics for bird photography. We're down in La Jolla taking pictures of brown pelicans today, and uh, we'll work through the seven things that you need to master so you can get great video. Number one is try to tell a story with your video. Have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And one way to do this is to have wide, medium, and tight shots. A wide shot will establish the scene, the location. Medium shot determines the characters or who's involved and then the tight shot shows you more details about those people. So you can do this with a telephoto lens and a wide angle lens. You can develop your wide, medium, and tight shots, and you can begin to tell your story with a beginning, a middle, and an end. So number two is get plenty of B-roll. A-roll is your main shot and your main audio, and B-roll goes on top of that in your software program, and it gives you more details on certain points, or it expands the story, or if you don't want to be on screen like I am right now all the time, then you're gonna have some B-roll, and I'll cut to some B-roll right now of some sort of pelican shot or some, B some shots from San Diego. Part three is about panning. Two ways you can pan. One is to pan hand-holding your camera. You're gonna to need to hold your camera really, really steady to do that, and you're going to need to move the camera slow across the scene as you pan. So if you move it really fast, it doesn't really work, so you kinda of wanna move it slowly across the scene like that. The slower you go, the better. You might want to shoot at 60 frames a second and then slow the footage down by playing it back at 24 frames a second in post-processing. That will give you a smoother pan as well. So tip number four is to don't zoom in and out with the lens. If you need to get closer, walk forward, get a little bit closer to the bird. Zooming in and out by using a zoom lens or panning forward and backwards essentially is what you're doing. It just doesn't look very professional and it will make your films look more amateurish. So don't do it. Walk a little bit closer, get a tighter shot that way. Tip number five is pull focus. So this is where you maybe want to start something with it's out of focus and the background is uh, in focus and the bird is in front of it out of focus and you've, you switch from the background being in focus to the bird being in focus. That's called pull focus. You can do that really easily by touching the screen on a lot of the newer video cameras and it's a kind of a cool effect for starting a new segment or as a transition or something. So part six again is about audio, just one more method for getting good audio. We talked last time about the Rode VideoMic Pro and that was the uh, with the dead cat on top of the camera. If you're doing a lot of interviews and stuff you might want to get a wireless mic like this one. It's a Sennheiser wireless mic transmitter here, receiver. Well, the mic's close to my my mouth it's close to where I'm speaking from and so I'm gonna get good audio that way part seven is about editing a little bit so when you're putting your clips together don't use a whole bunch of different transitions that don't look good you can make your own transitions by zooming in on the camera like that you know if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate that. Remember, you can get a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography, on Amazon as a Kindle or a trade paperback. And you can also order it from me directly. You can get a signed copy from visiting my website, timboyerphotography.com. Most of this video, the A-roll, has been uh, filmed with the uh, GoPro 7. It's handheld, so sometimes the background is a little bit uh, crooked, but you know, it works pretty well as a vlogging camera. Just wanted to try it this week, see how it would work. Hey, thanks a lot, and I will see you next week. Bye.